Welcome back. As we mentioned earlier in the show, today is the day Laugh Fest kicks off with an incredible lineup of talent taking virtual stages to spread some laughter. Yeah, one of those headliners, Justin Willman, has been hosting virtual comedy shows ever since his last live performance, which, by the way, was a year ago right here in Grand Rapids, last time he was on a live stage. I got the chance to speak to him before his Laugh Fest, Laugh Fest performance tonight. Let's take a look. Justin Willman has performed on stages all over the world, but his new stage is quite familiar. I'm in the theater, AKA my dining room, ready for the people to file in. This is very <laughs> exciting. This is full circle, by the way. My last show before the world shut down was at Laugh Fest in, uh, in Fountain Street Church and was one of my favorite shows I've ever done. If that had to be the last live show I ever do, I'd be grateful, but I'm glad it's not. Well, the feeling is mutual as Justin has become a fan favorite during Laugh Fest, but it hasn't been an easy past year for him, and not just because of the pandemic. Yeah, so obviously, like at first, just like everybody, you know, we all had the rug pulled out from under us. And as a, as a magician, as a touring performer, you know, my, my livelihood is being in a room packed with people, making them happy. So that was kind of taken away. And then, and then unfortunately, my mom passed away suddenly last May. My dog died in July. Like it was a whole series of like uh, gut punches and every, you know, like a lot of people, you know, just various gut punches and losses. And I never realized how much performing was like vital to my own emotional well-being. It's kind of like my therapy getting up on stage. So my wife encouraged me. She's like, why don't you can still perform? Look at this. Do, just hop on the Zoom, do a show. And I started doing this in August. We've had like over half a million people come to see one of my Magic for Humans at Home Zoom shows from all over the world. And it's been incredible, creatively just writing a brand new show, but then just being able to connect with people and see all these faces of people all over the world. And I think it's important for them to see one another just to remind ourselves like we're all in this together, you know? Yeah, and it kind of takes you out of your funk and it gives you a little bit of escapism. Magic is about giving you a feeling of wonder and suspending your disbelief. And I think we all really like need that now more than ever. So it's kind of been, it's been a roller coaster, but just being able to connect with people, to live in a time with technology, letting us do what we're doing right now is a beautiful silver lining. And Justin's magic can do much more than help people through tough times. It can be used as a tool for societal change. I mean, here's the thing with magic. Magic is, is awesome just as it is. Like magic doesn't need to have like a bunch of extra baggage to it. However, because magic tricks are cool, you know, but magic also has the power to like pose a question or put an idea in your head as a Trojan horse of in the course of a magic trick, it's about something bigger and it like lingers with you, you know, and I feel like you know, I'm not here to, you know, kind of preach anything. I don't know anything more about the world than you do. However, like, I, I'm curious and have a lot of questions and struggle with the same sort of things that I'm sure you do and a lot of viewers do. So to have a show where I use magic to kind of explore these things that we're all grappling with all the time, it's just kind of like my way of reminding you that we're all in this together and reminding you that we all have more uh, alike than we do different. Justin Willman is used to being in crowded arenas with bright lights in his face. So I asked him if the interaction with the audience is different while he performs via a Zoom call. It is. I mean, when you're doing a big, a big virtual show. So, you know, tonight's show for Laugh Fest will have, you know, hundreds of people on screen. And you normally you can see the front row in a live audience. You know, but after that, it's kind of like dim, you know, and you kind of tune them out. This is great because everybody has a front row seat, which is really cool. And you would think, I mean, at first, my hesitation with doing magic on Zoom was like, can you really connect with people? Is it really intimate? Like, is it as amazing? But it actually is because we're like staring point blank at one another. So like I can, for example, here, I've got, these are, these are our M&Ms that I use as, uh, as bribes for my two -year, our two-year-old son, Jackson. He'll do anything for these, so they're kind of like, I keep my pie. I know how many there are in here, Todd. We didn't set this up. I don't believe you know how many there are unless you're you know, secretly uh, you know, Rain Man. <laughs> but if I were to, via the Zoom here, like want you to know, I'm just gonna send you the number mentally. Okay. Give me your gut instinct. How many do you think there are? My gut instinct says there's now, uh, let's go with 214 in there. Don't even yes. tell me I'm right. Don't tell me I'm no, right. No, you're exactly right. <laughs> 214. I'm not kidding. No way. I, yes way. How, okay, well, well, here, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count them. I'm going to count them. Okay. One. Uh-huh. Two. How long is this segment? Do we have time for this? <laughs> Three. Oh, I wrote it in the lid. That saves time. 214. Oh. <laughs> 214. 
on the dot, dude. <laughs> Two fourteen. Well, yeah, uh, I was just about to ask you this question because that's amazing, of course, because you are amazing and you do it so well. Yeah, enjoy the chocolate. But <laughs> so, what, I would give these to you, but you're you're farce. I will accept that award. Uh, on your behalf. One drawback of the Zoom magic is I don't get the M and right. get it right. But that's what's great about it is that it's live. It's happening now. You get to have the best of both worlds. You get to have kind of the production value of a TV show with lots of fun kind of, you know, I'm like a one man, you know, director's booth here, like doing all that. But also you get to have the best parts of a live show, which is interacting with 20 to 30 people uh, who are all of a sudden, you know, they're on their couch watching the show and then they all of a sudden they're on screen, you know, picture in picture and they're like, whoa, you know, kind of freak out for a second. And then you get to blow their minds and then everyone else is watching, like lives vicariously through each of those people. It, it kind of is the best of both worlds. You kind of can actually transcend what could be kind of a disconnected experience and make it maybe even even better than the live thing in some way because you're watching everyone's watching from their mo most favorite place in the world their couch i asked him if audience members thought that he was using camera tricks i mean i i don't do any camera tricks i feel like people are i mean everyone knows you can make yourself uh, a cat face, you know, I'm a cat, or <laughs> digital backgrounds, like you can do all these things. So I feel like people, people definitely have their guard up a little bit already, so you have to like go out of your way to be super honest with them. So like I even, I mean, here's an example, this is a kind of a camera trick you could do. Like you can mess with people's sense of perspective, you know, AirPods, we know how big they are, but if I hold one kind of far away from the camera, it looks like it gets tiny, right? That's like an old illusion, an old trick. If I hold it up like right next to the lens, it looks like it gets enormous. Like people are aware that these things can happen, you know, and I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do that. Wait. Finally, I asked Justin how a Laugh Fest performance differs from other shows that he performs. It's a different vibe at Laugh Fest. It is, all the volunteers, everyone is there because of, of this higher purpose and, you know, going above and beyond. It's like the, the care that they take for the audience experience is incredible. The care they take for the performer experience is amazing. So then I, I came back two years later and it like took it to the next level. I felt like I was getting more and more into a new family, you know? Last year, it was, it was like coming home, you know? Coming to a home away from home in, in Grand Rapids seeing the same audience members who kind of come see me year and year again inspires me to, I want to put on a new show. I want to work on new material, you know? It, it makes it definitely much more than just a gig. And the fact that, you know, Kildas Club does so much great work and that I have kind of been inducted into, into the fold to help, you know, bring about that goodness is a, it's, it's a really special thing. He's incredible. You know, another silver lining that we didn't get a chance to show is the fact that he, he's a new father. Mm -hmm. So Jackson, his two-year-old, who will be on the show tonight, yeah. uh, is you know, mood willing, he said. Yes. Uh, he got a chance to see all those milestones, yeah. those, those gradual milestones that as a traveling you know, performer, sure. you're just not going to be home for it. So he's really been able to en enjoy that. Another silver lining. Plus, by the way, I know the camera cut away. We need the M&M trick. You're annoying. But, no. I, wa I watched that thing from start to finish. He j the Nobody, I have no clue Can't how he it did it. I love it when he does it. Let's welcome him with open arms yeah. tonight as uh, Laugh Fest at 9 o'clock. Justin Wilman's Magic for Humans. We'll be right back.